Hello students, welcome to your own class. Okay, in this today class, we'll be uh, uh, try to uh, develop such a simple program on finance law. Okay, so this Java finance law can be associated with your tribe law. It can be associated with your science law also. Java finance law is a law that is used to execute important laws such as the closing transaction payment system. Okay, so this with Java finance law can be used. For some of the important tasks like that. So, whenever you open a file in your program, suppose that you want to close that file, uh, this closing file can be done inside the finance box. Suppose that if you open in a database connection, then uh, closing that database connection can be done inside the finance block. So, Java finance block is always a good tool the exception handle for. Suppose that in your uh, program, suppose that the exception is occurred, that exception can be handled by using try and catch block. So, irrespective of whether the exception occurs or exception handles, this final block will be always get executed. Okay. The Java final block follows a try or catch block. You can place this uh, final block after immediately in the try block or after the catch block so this is a, just a syntax so this is a java program this is a program code whether exception offer or no suppose that the exception is occurred then we will check whether the exception is handled or not if the exception is handled then the final block will be the exception is not handled, then only the final block will be accepted. Suppose that exception is not occurred, not occurred, then also the final block is executed. So this means that uh, irrespective of whether the exception is occurred, uh, whether the exception is handled, this final block is always executed. So next we will see a programmatical example. So here we created a class. The name of the class is test final block. So inside this class we have a main method that is static void main. So inside the main method we have some code. So we are performing a division operation. Okay, uh, this example specifically also this will not write the exception. Okay, here we are dividing this 25 by so which will give us the value y which is displayed here okay so uh, we will put this code inside the tab block and we have a respective catch block so here instead of null pointer exception we must be included automatic exception and we printed that uh, system dot power dot using system dot power dot printer so next after the catch block we kept a final block so system dot out of internet, final block is always executed so after the final block we have just a uh, print out statement which is just telling that this is the rest of the code suppose that uh, this program is all about uh, uh, exception is not occur okay so it means that so here exception not occur so we should perform the division operation and output will be displayed so whenever you run this code you get the output type data is for you for you will be printed after that the final block is always executed next you get the rest of the code so this is the output you will get suppose that uh, uh, here instead of 5 we have 0 okay instead of 5 we have 0 so uh, any number divided by 0 will write the exception and this uh, if and the output will not be printed so this will throw the exception which will be handled by the cache block so here it will print that divided by 0 is not possible okay next we get the output as final block is always executed and fresh code and we will try to execute this program using eclipse IDE so create the class right click new Uh, 
classes is created. So next, so inside this class, we create a name with it. Click and So here, uh, First, uh, we will save this program, control S, and we will try to execute this program. So, here, click on file, and to file, verify file, that is file. And this block is always executed, that is from the final block, and this is from the rest of the code. So, this is the program where uh, the exception is not occurred. So, if the exception is not occurred, this final block will execute. Suppose that we will make changes to this program, just I replace 5 by 0. So 5 by 0, just save this program and it will throw the exception. So here, so it is throwing the exception by 0 and this block is always in the rest of the code. Okay, so one thing you need to remember that there is exception after in your program or Finally, block will always execute it. So if that exception occurs, whether you handle the exception or not, the final block always executes. Okay, so this is about the finally block. A simple program. Finally, do not have any braces after the finally keyword. Okay, simply you need to import finally or from the close. Okay, so uh, we will continue in the next class. So in this class, we will just uh, uh, give you a simple program on binary block.